I'm going to show you how to do a stepper card for this size die. So let me show you, I'll show you it to, so you can see what we work towards. This is what I'm talking about, a stepper card that's perfectly sized to fit one of your creator cards into the front. Then we're going to do a little bit of inking on here as well. Now what we're going to do, Derek, you're going to cut down your cardstock. So whether you're starting with 8.5 by 11 or if you're starting with a sheet of A4, both of those sizes will cut to this size. That's why I've picked it. You're going to cut it to, um, we're going to cut it to 8 inches wide by 10 inches long. All right. So 10 by 8. There we go. And that's what you're going to start with. Now, 10 by 8. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our scoreboard and we're going to use the inches side because I'm definitely an inches girl. So this is your pens and paper moment. What we're going to do is we're going to come in an inch from either side, Derek. So we're going to start off at the scoring the one inch and I'm just going to score it, but not quite all the way down the card. All right. Turn it right around and do the same at the other side. So I'm going to start about there and go to near enough to the bottom. So we've come an inch in from either side. Now, this was 10. So in the middle, we just needed to fold it halfway. So the halfway point is five. So in the middle, you're going to score it at the halfway point. But then we're going to put in our little step. So I want the step to be an inch. So what we do is we go up an inch. There we go. And then we come down an inch, which means we need to come at two. And then because our step is an inch from here, we need to step it an inch after here. So we'll come at six inches here. Does that make sense? Ah, uh -huh, yes. Yeah. So we'll do it again. We're going to step up an inch and then step down an inch. And then because our step, the whole piece in the middle is raised by an inch, we need to put the step to accommodate that so it goes at six inches here. There we go. That is all of your scoring done. So all you need to do is come in with a nice metal edged ruler and we're going to cut from the edge of this score line down to the front of this one. So can you see we've gone in that part there. Do the same again here, the edge of this score line to right down to the front of this one here. And then actually, look how easy this is. There's your stepper at the back, stepper for the other one to be a little bit in front of it. And of course, this steps down a little bit. And that gives me that perfect stepper card. So you can see it's like showing off the bit that's on the front. That's what we're going to do. We're going to show off the bit that's on the front here. And we're going to come in. Which one did I say? We're going to use the Bethlehem scene. All right. So I can now take my creator card. And because it's a cookie cutter style, we're going to cut in but leave it connected. So we're going to connect it in to the front of the card there. Can you see how I've just sized this perfectly to fit the front of your creator card? So that's just going to position there. And I'm going to stick this down here and we are ready to go through. So sandwich combination as always is that you're going onto your base cutting plate. Then we're going to put our clear plate. We're going to put our magnetic and your top plate for your Gemini. So it's all that, just a regular sandwich. 10 seconds and we've got the card done. So that's the beauty. That's why they call create the cards 10 seconds and your card is done literally in, in one fell swoop as it was. Now look what I did, I left the die and I lifted the card from the die, which means that I'd have hardly any pieces to pop out from here, all right? Just a couple of little ones, it's all stayed connected. Now to actually, um, like, uh, what was I gonna say? Decorate all of the card. You can, if you want, put a piece of acetate behind. I generally don't. I've just got a few little bits and pieces here. So I'm gonna pop a piece of cardstock behind here. So just a little bit of tape, and I've gone with just a nice pale blue to show it off. So that gives us a little bit of strength on the inside. And the design shows a lot better when it's onto color like that, doesn't it? And then I've just cut a couple of little panels. So I'm going to just stick one on the front here, uh, right across the front of my card. And then I'm going to stick two down the side, just to draw the eye in, because it's very plain otherwise, but don't, I, th I would say don't worry about overproducing these. Don't really feel like you have to do an awful lot to the rest of it because actually it's the design that looks really spectacular. Now, you could leave it at that if you wanted. I've got a nice little bow to go on the bottom here. However, I'm going to show you how you put a little bit of colour onto it. 
So if you've got your ink pads, right, we've got the ink pads on the show today. I've got some straw bale, I've got some sandstorm and I've got some seal brown here. And I'm just going to come in, Derek, with my little finger daubers so I can be really precise with the application of the colour. So first of all, I'm going to come onto the little star here and bring that off. And this is the same whether you're doing it with your, you know, if you're doing it with your gilding waxes, you could apply just little bits of gilding wax to this um, or any of your ink colours. So I've got a little bit of, uh, little bit of sand, um, no, that was, what was that one called? Straw bale. The sandstorm. I'm going to come and place here all around the, um, yeah, that looks really good, around this bit here. And you can see just a little bit of decoration onto here. And then maybe it's also my little donkey. And let's have it the camels can be. The camels can be two-tone, I think. <laughs> and then I come in with the darker shade here. So this is our fryer brown. And I'm just going to do take all this two-tone under here. This is how you do a stepper card so that you don't have to wait for exactly this size. And all I think that needs to finish it off is a little bit of hot glue down there. We'll pop our little bow on the edge to finish it off. And then there is our stepper card ready and done.